how to make a booking website using Calendly. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own booking website using Calendly. So let's get into it. Now, the first step is you go on to Calendly.com and Calendly.com is basically a simple and easy to use appointment booking software that you can use to create a simple little landing page where you can use that as your website to get scheduled. Now, to get started on Calendly, all you have to do is click on get started at the top right over here and once you click on get started you just have to enter your email or you can sign up using google microsoft outlook or your apple id so we're just going to continue off with our email so you're just going to enter that over here and then you're just going to click on sign up over here and once you click on sign up you're just going to click on get started now i'm just going to continue on now depending on whatever kind Kind of email there is they might ask you to easily sign up with your email address to just continue with the signed in email address but if you want to create a password separately then you can just click on click here but i am just going to sign up with google over here because i just want to use my google account to sign into calendly instead of having to log on every time and what this enables you to do is that you can integrate your google calendar into your calendly calendar as well so you can see your personal appointments your bookings or meetings or any time that you're not going to be free you can easily view it on calendly because it is going to be synced up to your google account now you're just going to click on allow over here now once you do that this is going to be your next page now from here you're actually going to choose the name of your website or the url of your website so whatever you are going to name your appointment scheduling website you're just going to enter that in the url so let's say i want this to be a appointment booking uh, website or a landing page for a art class so i'm going to add jane's art class like this and then it's going to check if this is available this is currently available and then you select the time zone that you want to be working in now once you do that you're just going to click on continue over here and once you click on continue you can just connect your google calendar we're just going to continue with this and then you have to set your availability hours now you can change these or you can just click on setup later and set these up later depending on when you will be working or when you want to take these art classes let's say i want to take these art classes on um, mondays tuesdays wednesdays thursdays and then saturdays and sundays with fridays off so i'm just going to continue on over here and then you are going to enter what kind of role you have so i'm going to just say education and i'm just going to click on finish now, once you have done that, you can actually begin creating your actual appointment bookings. Now, I'm just going to delete this 30 minute meeting. This is like an automatic kind of appointment booking that uh, is created whenever you are setting up your Calendly account. So you're just gonna delete this. Now I'm gonna show you what my current booking site looks like. So if you click on the link over here, you can view your booking site. Now you can see this is currently not set up at all. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click on create over here and once you click on create you're going to select what kind of booking you want to create so uh let's say i am scheduling a art class but i take one-on-one -on -one art classes like i give individual art classes then what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on event type and i'm going to click on create one-on-one -on -one, and now i'm going to name the event name so this would be beginners art intro to materials now i would add the location of the meeting this could be a online meeting or this could be a in-person meeting as well i'm just going to add xyz as the location you're going to obviously add your own physical location or whatever location you take your appointments at and then you can add a description so i'm going to add a simple little description for the event so after i've entered like a short little description or instruction you know you can add whatever you want you can tell like people that are booking you can tell them any specific details anything they have to bring to the appointment any kind of homework they need to do before the appointment so you can leave that over there after that you're just going to select a event color so for this i am going to select a pink color and i'm just going to click on next over here and once you click on next you can arrange how further in the future you want to be booked so let's say i only want to be booked for the next 30 days like i don't know in a month i will be providing this class or this service so i'm going to set that as 30 calendar days or you can set within a date range or indefinitely into the future so people will be able to book you like years ahead of time or months ahead of time 
if you're a super busy person, then I would recommend that you leave it indefinitely so people can book accordingly and you can have like more time and spaced out schedules. But if you're someone that needs to pack a certain amount of work within a certain time, you can set this to the next 30 calendar days. So people cannot book you for the next month because uh, bookings are only available for the next 30 days. Now, after that, you have the duration of the event. So you can set any custom duration or you can set any of these preset times now let's say this is going to be a two hour class so i'm just going to add two hours now after that what you're going to do is if you want to do this within your existing availability schedule or you can set custom hours for this kind of class so i'm going to set custom hours because i want this class to only be scheduled on um, mondays tuesdays and I don't want this to be set on any other day. So this is going to be a Monday, Tuesday exclusive class because I want to host all my beginner classes on Mondays and Tuesdays and all my experienced classes on the other days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the time and I want the time for these kinds of classes to be. I'm going to set it to 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. So I don't want any classes after 9 because a class that could start at 8 p.m. could usually go up to 10 p.m. So I don't want to schedule any a class after 8 p.m. that would usually ending too late in the evening. So I'm just going to replicate the same time over here. 8 p.m., 5 p.m., like so. And then I'm just going to set this. Now, after that, you can add a wait time if you want. I'm not going to add that. And you can add any kind of dates to override. So if there is a specific override that you accept, like, you know, maybe if you are okay with being booked on Sundays or if you have like a more important class to, or a more important thing to do on Monday, then you can reschedule or set a override for Sunday. But we are just going to skip that for now. Now, I'm just going to click on next over here and once you click on next a simple little workflow has been created now you can see if i click on this link over here this is going to show me my booking page so beginners art intro to materials and then people can see the booking dates that are available for this class you can see they have been highlighted in blue and people can book me for this class and if they go onto menu and click on home this is going to be the basic kind of event page now you can see i have this singular booking set up you can set up as as many as you want so i'm gonna click on new event type and i'm gonna click on one-on-one -on -one, and i would name this art evaluation and i would add this as a in-person meeting as well and then what i would do is i would set the color to red and i would click on next and let's say this would be available for the next 30 days and the duration would be 15 minutes and i would use the existing schedule so this kind of meeting is available on any day and I'm going to click on next. And what this basically serves me as is a basic kind of prerequisite. So before people book me for any other kind of uh, service or any other kind of course, I would actually be able to evaluate them. Setting like a very simple 15 minute appointment is pretty essential to most people. I do think it's most helpful for everyone if there is one simple kind of evaluation. So if I click on my link now, you can see I have this basic beautiful little website or landing page and then you have these two options and whatever people want to book me for, they can click on and once they click on it, they can see the available dates highlighted in blue and they can easily click on a date. They can schedule the time that they want to book me for so let's say 3 p.m they can just click on confirm enter their name and email address and it is a simple and easy to use booking site so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own simple and easy to navigate booking or appointment scheduling website using calendly make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and if you have any questions leave them in the comment box down below and i will catch you guys in the next video